Good morning, ladies. It is week number three of Life on Purpose, and I'm so glad that you guys are continuing to do this study with me. Um, we've talked about a lot of things, a lot of doing life on purpose. We've talked about um, from the beginning, what is intentional living? What does it mean to have intentional li um, living? How to get things done throughout our day, how to set our intentions, our aim, our attitude, and our aim, attitude, and our attention. Aim, attitude, and our attention. And then um, we moved into week two. And week two, we talked about uh, having intentional peace and how having intentional peace uh, is a choice that we have to make every single day to be able to apply that. We have to apply that to forgiveness. We have to apply that to being contagious, realizing that we can choose if we're going to be a positive contagion or a negative contagion. Um, confirmation bias, learning that if we have a preconceived bias that we're going to only see that confirmation because our brain is so cool and works on a shortcut method, um, an autopilot, and we got to retrain that out of our mind. And then um, Friday, we talked about what are those peace robbers? What are those things that are robbing our peace and how can we remove them and how can we fix our minds to remove those peace robbers? This week, I really, really want to talk to you about intentional dreams. Stick with me, stick with me. It's not just about interpreting dreams. That's definitely not what we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about our subconscious and we go to sleep and the fruity things that we see and what do they mean. We're not going to talk about any of that. What I want to talk to you about is how to have an intentional dream. God created each and every one of us with a specific plan, a specific dream for our life. And it's up to us to figure out what is that purpose in my life? God, what did you create me to do? Give me dreams in my mind, fill my head with thoughts and dreams and visions of what you have for me and help me to accomplish that. Sure, as little girls, we might have dreamed of being doctors or chefs or animal keepers. Maybe we dreamed about being moms and homemakers. But somewhere along the way, we became adults. And most of the time, when we become adults, we rationalize, well, I can't really afford that. And that's going to take too much schooling. And so I better just like fit it into my sizable dream. Whatever I can think I can achieve, I pack it into here. And this is what I'm going to dream. And I want to challenge you this week to really get outside of that and realize God has big dreams for you. And you can accomplish them. You can do those things that you think are impossible if you stick with it and if you stay determined and if you are intentional about the choices and the things that you're making. Um, maybe you're saying to yourself, I don't have a dream. I don't know. I don't want a dream. I'm just here. I'm just living every day and I don't really have a purpose. I just make it from one day to the next day and then I wake up and I figure out what my plans are and make it to the next day. Friend, I really want to challenge you. Let's seek God together. Reach out to me. I want to pray with you. Reach out to me and let's figure out what are the things that you're good at? What are the things that you like to do? We're going to unpack some of that this week and figure out what are these dreams and what can you start um, your mind, get the wheels turning to begin to dream. I love this quote, no individual has the right to come into the world and go out of it without leaving behind the distinct and legitimate reasons for having passed through it. I'm going to read that again. It's so good. No individual has the right to come into the world and go out of it without leaving behind him distinct and legitimate reasons for having passed through it. We all have a purpose that we must complete in order for us to pass through this life. God has a purpose. I think oftentimes we see numbers and statistics and we see how many people are in this world. We see how many people are on our Facebook friends list. We see how many people are in the grocery store or maybe we go to a sporting event and we look around and we see how many people. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. It's easy for us to really feel lost in the crowd. Just kind of floating through, like nobody's going to notice me. I'm just going to get up here and go there and nobody really matters. But let me tell you this. 
when we go to a sporting event or even a crowded mall, we can feel very overwhelmed. But when God looks into the crowd, he sees each of our faces and the details of them. He knows our name, says Isaiah 42, 1. He has a plan for each and every one of us individually, says Jeremiah 29, 11. He wrote out the story of you before you were even born, says Jeremiah 1, 5. He knows the people that you will encounter, the places that you will go, and even the mistakes that you will make. And he has worked all things together for your good and his glory, Romans 8, 28. You see, he wants to give you a dream. He has a dream. You got to make yourself available. God, I want to be intentional with my life. I want to have a purpose for my life. I want to have dreams and I want to make them happen. And those dreams look different for each and every one of us. Maybe you want to be uh, the best wife possible. Then let's do that. Let's spend your time being a great wife and supporting your husband and his dreams and his goals. And you be his support system. Maybe you want to be a great mom. What are you teaching your kids? What are you doing right now to be intentional with the time that you do have these kids? They're not going to be under your care or your protection forever. So what are you doing to be intentional with the time that you do have? Maybe you want to climb the corporate ladder and you want to be successful in business. Well, what are you doing to achieve those goals? Do you need to go to school once a week? Do you need to find a mentor that can help open doors and teach you some things? What are you doing? Are you wanting to be successful in a certain ministry organization, um, a certain ministry department maybe, but you just don't really know where to start? Well, start asking questions. Start dreaming and start achieving these dreams. Don't just pass through this life and not achieve your specifically designed purpose. We're going to continue this week and we're going to talk about how to discover your dreams, um, what they look like. How, how do I do this? How do I dream? How do I discover? We're going to go through that. We're going to talk about how do you know if your dream is from God? How do I know? I kind of have this thing I like to do, but is that from God? Could that, could being a baker and a cake maker be something that God has called me to do? It's not really biblical and I'm not doing scriptures. Maybe it is. Let's talk about that. Let's see what um, the Bible tells us, what we can learn from God's word about those intentional dreams. If you've got the packet this week, then today we're asking some questions. Do you currently have dreams that you're pushing towards? What are they? Do you have a crazy or unusual dream, but you don't share with anyone that maybe you would really like to do? I do. Here's the deal, friend. If we always do what we've always done, we will always get what we've always gotten. But if we switch things up and do the unusual dreams that we have in our heart, then we will begin to see God in a new and unusual way. So trust God and dream big. Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there is no vision, people perish. So let's get those wheels turning and let's start dreaming and achieving the things and the purpose that God has for each and every one of us. I know I was short today, but let's get our wheels turning. What are those dreams? What could we be dreaming? Let me pray with you. God, I thank you so much for this week, Lord. We're starting a brand new week, God, and I pray that you would help us to take a hold of life and help us to live it on purpose. God, I pray for specifically, Lord, for the dreams that you have for each and every one of us, Lord. I pray that as we unpack what this means this week, God, that you would help us to get our wheels turning, Lord, that you would begin to speak to us and tell us and remind us of the dreams that you have placed in our hearts, God. Help our minds to realize what those things are and begin to get our wheels turning about how we can accomplish those in our lives, God. I pray that you... I know that you have given each and every one of us a purpose. Your word tells us that you know our faces. You have a plan and a purpose for our life before we were even born, God. And that you work all things together in our life for your good and glory. God, I pray that you would help us to see that and to trust you and to walk forward in that and to learn to dream again. Thank you so much, Lord, for the dreams that you place into our hearts, God. Let us not take lightly, Lord, what you've put in us, what you're giving to us, and what you can do if we open ourselves up to be used by you, Lord. We praise you and we thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Help us have a wonderful week. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen, ladies. I do want to say a special hello to my waitress this weekend. I was out this weekend and um, my waitress, Jennifer, actually recognized and um, told me that she watches these videos. It was very uh, a very awe-shocking moment and um, very cool. So, Jennifer, it was very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for watching and um, encouraging me and letting me know that you are encouraged from these videos. It truly means the world to me. So y'all have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.